I know I can't see. I think it's recording. All right, y'all. I'm Queen of Pentacles, Tara 333, and I'm here to do another video. Let's see. Yeah, I am. Wait, we might as well throw another one out there. And I kind of said that I was going to do, like, throw out my cards right here. Let's see what they say. Let's do fire, water, earth, air. Okay. Somebody must be feeling kind of alone and paranoid. Foreboding. Oh, yeah, because see... I feel like, you know, somebody could have had like a, you know, that's like a feeling of, you know, something ain't right kind of feeling, you know, foreboding. <coughs> it looks like you protected though, you know, but sometimes that's that feeling of, damn, I know something ain't right. You know, I know because I was watching TV the other day and I like to watch, um, a lot of ID shows. I ain't gonna lie. I love that kind of stuff. And when I was watching it, this lady, that, that word came up on the TV. And she was like, I had a feeling that something wasn't right. So sometimes that's a feeling of something ain't right. And the only reason why I'm saying that, because right next to it was vulnerability. That's why I feel like somebody could be alone or single or living by themselves or whatever. But then I picked up revenge. So maybe this is a feeling that something ain't right right here. So it said it be wise or you might got a lot of wisdom or you know something, right? Because then I had put the spider, which is uh, deception. It could be at work or in a community. It's like you're aware of something around you because awareness did come up. I feel like somebody up to no good. Yeah, for real though, for real. Anyway, let's see if we get any tarot cards that... <sighs> like, go with these cards here. Because I ain't going to lie. I like using these. A lot. And, to me, mischief, it could be more than one person. No lie. That's up to no good around you. But, usually when you are, you know, anywhere you at, people just, you know, you just can't. Trust everybody, and sometimes you have to look at people like what are the intentions, or sometimes you gotta be a little paranoid. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm gonna use these since I touched them. I'm gonna say somebody could be living somewhere too where you don't fit in. Not just saying you don't fit in. It's like, you you look like you out of place. You look like you out of place. You might be just good looking or something like that. I'm going to get on my knees. And um, let's read. Go ahead, y'all. Tell me to read. And thank you. Oh, yeah. I came back on here to say thank you for all them happy birthdays. I saw them all uh, when I just posted them videos. Thank y'all for all the happy birthday wishes. I usually don't do nothing for my birthday. Shoot, I ain't never had a birthday party. I think, you know, cause my family was like really religious. They ain't believe in birthdays and stuff. So I, I got my first cake. I think I was like 24, 24 years old. But I'm way older than that now. Anyway, temperance. It's a practice patience at this time. I'm going to be honest, somebody could be sad around you or in regret about something or feeling guilty about something. They don't even look happy. Yeah, I'm saying sorry. Really sorry. Six of Wands. They see you as a victory. But this person, whoever this person is that looking sad, somebody emotions could be all over the place. Okay, it could be yours or someone else's. There's a Queen of Pentacles here. She just came out. First card. First person. Um, this person can come out very caring, very kind. I always say sometimes this person can get taken advantage of. Usually this person is motherly. And I'm not saying everybody, but some people probably even got children. Because usually the Queen of Pentacles have a whole bunch of kids or something sometimes. Or just children. 
or children could be like, like like to come around you. But only reason why I say this person here looks sorry, it does look like somebody's sorry. Cause I don't know if y'all can see that. That man right there on that horse. And the other person with their head down standing by the water. Look like they're probably crying. The Queen of Pentacles and the Devil. I usually see anything concerning money and the devil is like a toxic person or somebody who was codependent or needy around you or somebody who probably needs you right now who's having some kind of regret. Whoever this person is, say you love them right here. Um, it could be like a Princess of Cups here, a younger person. But let me find out why the devil's sitting right there in between because somebody could be toxic too. Um, you know, drugs, drinking, alcohol, sexual addiction, lust, or obsessed. Uh, or it could be food addiction, any kind of addiction, you know. Devil stand. To me, the devil stand for anything that's bad. Yeah. And then the seven of cups. See, this was about some kind of confusion. Let me look. So, why y'all give me too mischief? Why somebody looked like they was up to no good? Because of the queen of wands. The princes of wands here. Okay, so there's an age difference between the queens and the princes. So, somebody could have like two daughters and a son or a few kids. Um... Some could be older, some could be younger, or something like that. But, but I said, why somebody like that up? No good. So somebody got somebody around them. Whoa, whoa. You might need some rest. Something could be concerning money. Not for everybody. Now this is a general message, so it's gonna relate to some people, but not for everybody. But I do feel like somebody has a daughter. She right here. This somebody you love. This person could be a little toxic. I ain't gonna lie. This person could have like some kind of addiction. I always worried about money. They look sad. Um, here. So I want to say, I see these two people. They look like they're in love, or they love this person right here. Look like you got everybody you need around you, and some love here. You need some rest though, cause somebody could be tired or sleeping a lot. Because something could be draining your energy. Could be this devil energy right here. Or something toxic around this person right here. What's so toxic around this person? Because it looks like you got a love offer. And, ooh, this person very beautiful too. Gorgeous as shit. Okay, so there's a queen of wands here. Now. And, well, I'm picking up a female energy now. But, you know, it could be woman or man. Cards don't discriminate. So, somebody trying to figure out what they need to do. There's a lot of people here. And, well, I'm just going to say it like this. Somebody could have a daughter that's doing something crazy for money. And, I'm going to say this too. Yeah, somebody is. I see you getting something though, like a gift. But I'm also going to say, you could be falling in love with somebody here. Or somebody could be falling in love with you. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody finna meet some brand new love right here. Somebody, this person come out very romantic. And everything. Whoa. Super freaking romantic. Probably too good to be true kind of. They rushing in too. I mean, good lord. They want to be with you. Uh, but I kind of feel like somebody got other options. And somebody sneaky and think they're getting away with something. And... Which is so weird because now I got the princess of swords. It's like somebody took somebody for granted here. Whoa. And somebody really mad, could be really mad at you. Probably because somebody was in a third party. I want to say this too. Now, now, I know this is a general message. Now, I want to say if you know that you're in a relationship and you're dealing with a player, because there's a player here, y'all. Good looking, too. Fine. It could be a woman or a man that's a player, but somebody could be sleeping with somebody's man here. Um, <laughs> I want to say if you are, somebody's very angry. They don't look happy at all, but you look very beautiful, but this person want to fuck you up. Um, because I don't even believe you know I kind of feel like you probably oblivious to the fact that this person is up to no good and 
But for some reason, some of you do know it because I've got a wear right here. So you're aware. But anyway, somebody coming in with a love offer. See, this is a new beginning in love. Whoever this person is, um, you could this could be like a soulmate, a childhood friend, or somebody from the past. Now, it looks like you and the other person are good looking. I ain't gonna lie, somebody be spending a lot of money. I feel like somebody be spending somebody else's money on this person here. Oh my God. So this person here, anytime I get this together, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this bitch coming to scratch your car, or bust your windows out your car, or whoop your ass, or, you know, something like that. Somebody could be pregnant too. Or somebody could find out somebody got somebody pregnant. See, somebody dealing with a ladies' man, this person come off like very freaking cute and sweet and oh, nice and charming. And he got his little cup in his hand and stuff like that right there. And I do feel like somebody is going to get an apology. But you look mad. Don't do nothing crazy. Because, see, somebody dealing with, playing some games here. Somebody playing some games. They rushing in. For six over here with this person right here. See, because the Seven of Swords came out. So somebody took somebody for granted. Because usually the Princess of Cups, she real sweet and shit. And she really nice. And I like her. But if anytime you see this, somebody could be dealing with a fake friend too. That, that they have to cut off or they're going to cut them off. Because this person going to say some sad junk to you that you ain't going to like. And... I want to say that even it's not for everybody, but for somebody, your family member probably don't even like the person who's coming around that's crazy about you. Maybe that's why this person looking guilty because something was put to rest here. But anyway, okay, somebody lying to somebody about something here, okay? That show is, and it's the age difference between the two people too. Now, show me what I get on this this person that needs some rest. The King of Cups. Maybe he is tired if he got all that going on. That sweet person here. Could be a Scorpio. Leo too. A strong Leo. Shit, I heard Aries. But anyway, yeah, see somebody was left out in the cold. Somebody worried about being left out in the cold. But earlier we did say that the Queen of Pentacles was here and she really nice and stuff. And she always doing stuff for people. And blah, blah, blah. But, somebody up to no good, though. And you know it. This, uh, yeah, because this person looks sorry as crap. And having some kind of regrets and feeling guilty about something. But you had an intuition or some kind of suspicion that something wasn't right. You was aware of, yeah, because see, this person is way younger. Or something that was going on around you. And you was on the lookout for it, too. Now, look. A new beginning in love. That's what you're going to get. Somebody going to get something new. But it looks good. I ain't going to lie. This person like they crazy about you. Now, I feel like at this time, somebody ain't going to like it, though. This person is feeling like something ain't going their way. Like, they ain't getting their way with their happiness or whatever. And I feel like at this time here, yeah, somebody going to try to come between that shit, too. Anyway, with the Ten of Cups here, I feel like you're going to be happy and everything like that. You're going to get everything you want. Probably even a proposal. I see somebody see you as a wife. There could be a wife here, though. Somebody very spiritual at this time, too. I see that Ten of Pentacles, yeah. See, somebody see everything with you, happiness and everything, like a spiritual connection. This person rushing in right here, real quick, could be traveling and going out of town. Somebody could be meeting somebody from far away. Yep, see somebody moving. This person here thinking about money. They want to care for you. They want to do something for you, but there's a distance between you and this person here. This person think they sneaky. They think they're getting away with something, too. Let me see why. Why you think you sneaky king of pentacles who think they're getting away with something here? With love. See, this person living a double life. And I feel like at this time, yeah, this person between two different places. And I feel like at this time, I do see that, you know, could have been an ending. Somebody could have broke up, left somebody for somebody else too. Maybe that's why that person look all mad and shit. But I feel like at this time, this person didn't tell you what they really had going on. The princess of one, you was like, you know what, I'm going to do me. But there was two players here. So the other person thought they were getting played or playing somebody, but I don't think so. So for some reason, you ain't talking to that person. No communication, no talking. This person coming in to tell you how much they care about you, how much they love you, blah, blah, blah. 
this was all about working together here. So, I feel like at this time, I do see a proposal. Y'all sure do. Somebody coming in to talk to you and tell you that they apologize or they love you. But this person got another side of them. They could be nasty here. And there was some confusion. I feel like every time this person want to do some shit, they, they start acting funny to you or like they ain't got time for you right here. Now they're having some kind of regrets. Because they're dealing with some kind of judgment here. And you pissed off at them too. Because there was a time moment and a breakup at this time, but justice was served. Because see, these people were going back and forth with each other. Could have been even fighting. I feel like somebody was going back and forth with each other right here because there was a snake at this tower. And somebody had told a bunch of lies and spread a bunch of hate or whatever. So then this emperor, let me see what's wrong with this emperor. He was dealing with a side chick or somebody younger than you. And I feel like this person did love you, but, and they look sorry too. But I feel like there was a separation between you and this person right here. But yeah, because somebody was dealing with a player because of a sexual relationship. But I feel like you got some kind of justice served, though, because this other person that they chose over you started treating this person real nasty. I said I saw two players real nasty. And I feel like this person loved this nasty person, too. They was cold and something bad happened, too. I ain't gonna lie. It could have been even like. The police call. So these two women here, they was at a standoff. Somebody didn't like this person and this person didn't like this person. Or it was something you just wasn't going to put up with. So somebody had been gone for a long time. I ain't going to lie. Judgment, karma. But they dealing with some kind of karma now. And they feeling kind of betrayed. But you feeling betrayed right here too. It was like you were looking at everything. You knew this person loved you or whatever. Now they ain't looking like they having a problem. Ooh. They look like they're still in love with you. Want to be reunited with you or something? With a proposal. But your heart was broken. Ooh, you're lucky. You're lucky you was upset. You love this person. You love them. But it was a time moment because I feel like they thought that they could replace you with somebody else. And now they mad at this other person because, see, this other person had another man. You see what goes around comes around. Whoa. And there was an ending here. And the other person wanted to be single. And they was giving their love to other people. And they had they were different from you too. Way different from you. Somebody has some pretty ass. Blonde hair. I see a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Wait a minute. I want to see these. What did I say? Thief. Somebody must have stole something from somebody. Oh, they feel like they're in a situation they don't want to be in too let me see somebody said they've been in love but never nobody could replace you not like you said it again I've been in love but it's not like you and me let's not be angry with each other somebody want to come back and say that start off where we left off I don't want to talk but the other person said, I don't care I don't want to talk shit fuck but, um, or oh, excuse me, excuse my language, y'all. I got potty mouth. I got to clean up my mouth with soap. And you started acting different, so somebody did start acting different. And try to friend zone you, but you feel like they never did deserve your love. But whoever this other person was, they was getting high with the other person and stuff. They must have had something to come like smoking weed or drinking together. Someone stole somebody else's man or woman. Maybe that's why that lady looks like she mad, boy. I'm telling you. Uh-uh. That girl, dude. Look like she mad as hell. I don't know. It looks like... If this person did, they're having a heavy burden on them. They seem angry, defensive. They hurt their leg, their knee. Yeah, they seem like they didn't want you or something. They were non-committal, didn't keep their promises. But now these two people are arguing because somebody must have left you alone for somebody who was kind of fast. And now there's an ending. And this other person was left out in the cold and they really sorry. But the emperor and the star, somebody here was a boss, manager, or supervisor too. Something that probably was about money. Um, there was like no communication, no talking, but these people was going on. Uh -uh, there was some competition there. I feel like if somebody puts you in competition with somebody else, 
there was some competition with this other person too. This person put them in competition with somebody else. Oh, that's what it looked like to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because this person here wanted to get what they wanted. Sure is. And I feel like this other person loved, it, loved this other person. I'm about to say loved it. Mm-hmm. They thought this person was a new beginning and everything like that. All right. I'm Queen of Pentacles, Sarah 333, and thank you.